This being Homelessness Action Week has given us the opportunity to take a microscopic look at the plight. What we found was a plight within a plight. I'll let Charlie explain. The other day, my co-worker and colleague, Graham Clark, said something that I thought was hurtful and ignorant. He said that the biggest emergency facing the city of Vancouver today is the homeless question. Well, I feel like it's my duty to stand up to ignorance, so I wanted to remind him about Vancouver's forgotten victims, the overhoused. Graham, the things that you and I take for granted, the overhoused never get to have. For instance, what's your favorite Vancouver treat? Um, I, I like, uh, I'm a pizza man. Well, especially, you know, a night carousing or a morning yeah, after yeah. carousing. Buck slice pizza. Buck a slice pizza. Mm -hmm. It's the Vancouver treat for most of us. But the overhoused almost never get a chance. I, I, I weep for them. <laughs> Well, it's time to give something back. Mm. Dinner's ready. But Charlie, people don't need vodka slice pizza to live. Yeah, it's a luxury item. I'll admit that. But some of what the overhoused face isn't luxurious. Graham, how do you fall asleep? Uh, you know, there's some uh, gent like you know, small car noises, things yes. like that. Gentle traffic noise, mm -hmm. or as I call them, the urban lullaby. Well, that's another Vancouver tradition that the overhoused have been shut out from. Many of them have to try and get their sleep with the crashing sounds of the ocean keeping them from the land of Nod. I bet you think you're helpless, don't you, Graham? I do. You look helpless. I, well, I feel helpless. But you can fight ocean noise-related sleeplessness. The very best instruments to help. Go. <laughs> But is insomnia the only risk? <laughs> no, Graham. I wish it were. I wish it were. But it's not. That's why I'm left wishing. Think about how you get your precious viral antibodies. Uh, well, I ride the bus a lot. That's exactly it, Graham. By wading out in the cold, soaking rain and exposing yourself to the disgusting, mucousy coughs of strangers, you develop immunity to illness. That's another treasure denied to the city's overhoused. But I'm not one to take those kinds of things sitting down. That's why I just stood up. I'm gonna be providing a clinic right here in this Point Grey Park on this bench for anyone who wants the same quality immunization available on the east side. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to teach Graham a little something about how to give back. But whether it's pool cleaning costs or higher house heating costs, it's the overhoused, not the homeless, that are the hardest hit. Remember, it's not about whose needs aren't being met, it's about who has the most needs. For the City News List and Overhousing Awareness, I'm Charlie Demers. Good job, Charlie. In case you didn't know what you were watching, this is the City News List, the sketch show.